things, two major things, actually. One I learned from Susie Hutchison, who's a famous uh, rider in the US. She always taught me that when you are on the horse warming up, before you go in the ring, in the competition ring, you've sort of done your warm up, maybe you're waiting for your last vertical, and you go over your course three times in your head. And you literally start to finish and you think about how you're gonna do your, your beginning, which for me is always, you know, three transitions, go forward, slow down, go forward, slow down, go forward, slow down, and then go to the first jump. So it's those three transitions going over the course three times in your head just to make sure it's really ingrained in there. And then the other thing is taking three very deep breaths. And I learned it in yoga. Um, it's a breathing technique that you, they use in yoga where it's a four second count of uh, inhale and a four second count of exhale. And I do that three times when I'm doing sort of my final go through of going over the course these three times and I'm taking these three deep breaths. And for me, that gets me in the mindset and those small exercises change everything from, okay, I was in the warm up, I have my sort of plan and now I have to go execute it. And it really takes me from the preparation to the actual execution. So I think those, those are my tips for getting in the mental game. The, the visualization, um, just to understand how, how deep do you take the detail? How, how far do you go? Yeah. I mean, I think about, sort of again like the beginning so it's all right how am i gonna where's my where's my like approach to the first jump gonna be where am i gonna do these three transitions and then it's okay count the numbers do i lengthen do i shorten it's very much even if i have a chance in the warm-up as i'm thinking about it these three times i walk the course and if i have to lengthen down a line i encourage the horse to walk to move forward at the walk to lengthen at the walk and then i have to make a left turn and then i have to make a right turn you know or i think oh i gotta sit up with my shoulders so it's very detailed about the movements that i'm doing and the aids that i'm telling the horse so i really want to think about okay what are the important steps like do i think all right after this jump shorten your reins pull it together re-get the balance look at the next jump you know, it's very detailed in the things that I can control. You know, it's a horse. There's a lot of things you can't control. But in my head, those, those things that I want to go over are the things that I can control. And I try and pick spots around the course to mentally say, okay, here I'm going to short my reins. Here I'm going to sit up. Here I'm going to make sure they're out in front of me. You know, here I need to make sure that I recover quickly because I got to get that shortening done in the line. You know, those kind of things. So I go into as much detail as I can. That sounds, or nearly sounds, the way um, um, a bobsleigh or even a Formula One driver prepares for, for their round on, a, on course where they shut off, close their eyes and envision every turn and every gear and shifting. And it's, it's literally, it's just the same, going through all those motions, all those steps. Yeah, I think it's the same concept. You know, you, you want to be able to execute a plan. And for me, I'm not the best at executing my plan. I'm really one of those like fly by the seat of your pants kind of riders. Like I make quick decisions that aren't always the right decisions in the ring. You know, I fight to leave the jumps up and go as fast as I can. But with me, sometimes I need to be able to visualize that execution to try and get it at least 90% or because sure, maybe you don't always get it 100% to, to execute it the way you want. But if you can get as close as you can, the chances are as long as your plan is good, then you're going to have a shot to actually succeed. All right. Thank you very much for sharing that. I think uh, a lot of our fans and viewers can, uh, can take that as a, as a useful tool when they go into the ring or even uh, when they get stressed or nervous on how to, uh, how to prepare. prepare. Uh -huh.